What's up you legends, welcome back to another video where today we've got a very different video to what I normally make, I normally make. We're going to be doing a history themed video for like the educational purposes. We're going to be doing the lead up to World War One. Let's get right into it. So first of all we have the Europe and the world in 1900. So um the back for we'll do Russia first. So the background of Russia, the Russia is the largest country in the world. Um, well right now, but in nineteen hundred, like nineteen hundred, uh, it was like it was very, it was very very poor. And like loads of land, but then then loads was like really really cold. And then the ruler was uh, Tsar Nicholas the second. And their empire kind of. The Germans were jealous of the like the really high empire so they decided that germany needed colonies overseas so they were, germany were really jealous of uh, russia's empire we'll get into that later um then we got germany so in 1916 germany was less than 50 years old which is a bit crazy before 1870 there was no such country only a collection of russia again like just a bit bonkers. Tsar Nicholas opened the trans Siberia Railway in 1901. That was a very big um, part of it. Kaiser Wilhelm was the ruler, the second of Germany. And then, um, Kaiser Wilhelm once said that um, Germany had a place in the sun. They had the biggest population in the world back then. Um, now Britain, um, it was quite small, but at um, the start of the 20th, 20th century, it was the most powerful country under Queen Victoria. She reigned until 1901. Um, uh, the ruler was King George V. Had the, they had the richest in, industries, the most trade, the largest number of colonies, and the biggest navy. Also, King George was the emperor of India and a lot of other land overseas. So, a bit, very big empire. Nice. Then we have the long term causes of World War One. First of all, we have the alliances. There were two big alliances in the world that back then the Triple Alliance, which consisted of Germany, Austria Hungary, and uh, Italy. Then we've got the Triple Entente, which was Russia, France, and Britain. So that's alliances. Then we had um, imperialism. So by 1900, the British Empire extended over five continents, and France had control of large areas in Africa. The amount of land owned by Britain and France increased the rivalry with Germany, who had only entered the scramble to control colonies. Late and only had small areas of Africa. Then we have nationalism. France was keen for revenge on Germany after they had taken land from them in 1871. They wanted it back and they said it had been stolen by Germany. In 1908, Austria Hungary took over Bosnia. This angered the Serbians who thought the province should be theirs. Russia allied to Serbia and tension was very, very high. Now we have the countdown to war, which is basically a timeline. So first of all, we've got the 20th of June, which is the head of the Austro-Hungary throne is assassinated. The Austro-Hungary uh, person who got assassinated was Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Check out my other videos, it's going to be uploaded tomorrow about how um, he was assassinated. Nice. Um, 5th July was uh, the alliance between Austria-Hungary and Germany. Uh, they, al they allied and took out Serbia. 23rd of July, Austria-Hungary issued a harsh uh, ultimatum, which is basically uh, kind of a deal or a compromise, I guess you could say, with Serbia, uh, declaring war unless demands were agreed. Very high demands from Austria-Hungary. 28th of July, Austria-Hungary, with the support of Germany, declared war on Serbia. Peace talks were suggested by Britain, but never took place. 
then um, 30th of July, Germany wanted Russia to stop, but they refused, like, because Russia was attacking Germany. So they wanted them to stop, but he refused. And then Germany had enough, so they declared, they declared war on Russia. 3rd of August, um, Germany declared war on France and invaded Belgium. This was the Schlieffen plan. I'll get into that in tomorrow's video, maybe, as well. Um, uh, 6th of August, Austria-Hungary declared war on Russia. Serbia declared war on Germany. And then finally, 12th of August, Britain and France declared war on Austria-Hungary. So that was like the countdown to war. And yeah, that was, that was pretty much it on the countdown to war. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, goodbye.